My name is Thais Brightflower Gould Jacinto. This is part four in a series of pine needle basket art. Video one is an introduction with some history of our tribe, the Nanticoke Lenny Lenape of Birch, New Jersey, and the Longleaf Pines. Video two is a description of the materials required before you start. And video three is the first of the how-to series in making the pine needle baskets. If you have found this video first, please be sure to locate the previous videos before you begin. I see when I turn the corner again that I need another stitch that doesn't have a previous stitch. We are running short on some of the pine needles. Before we go too far, take a bundle Snap the end and insert it and then pull it tight. Every so many stitches, you're going to have to add a bundle. And I'm going to put some more pine needles. Now I see I have quite a bit that are short. So I'm going to put more than one bundle this time. You see when you have something like this, you don't worry about it. It'll get, it'll get swallowed up in the next row. Now the sinew is quite short, I'm going to say it's like 7-8 inches. So we're ready for our next piece and this is how I do it. We have our, we have our second piece already ready. You tie it off at the closest part to your pine needle work. You just do a square knot. Closest to the work as possible. See the tails? I'm going to incorporate them in my pine needles. And I'll do three stitches then trim the tail of the sinew. You sew the tails in the work, then the knot is not being pulled so that it would come undone later.
So in the next video, we'll have this bottom piece finished, the size that we want to be approximately the size of this basket, and I will show you how you start raising it up for the next level.